Order in the court. If you are following this tragic story like me, this is what I have gathered so far. It's a trending story, so you know some details may change in the future. So I'm going to try to break it down as best as I can. Who is Jana Perry? Jana is a 38-year-old woman who resides in Chicago. She has seven children. In 2014 and 2017, her children were removed from her custody. This is being said by the Illinois Family and Children's Service spokesman, Bill McCaffrey. In 2014, there was an alleged domestic violence charge that was later discovered to be true. Four children were taken in that incident. In 2014, she had gave birth to a child. It was taken away and put in protective custody. One year later, she gave birth to Damari, who was taken into protective custody and they say placed in foster care. On 2014, Boone Court records show that in June, Jenny unsuccessfully argued for an order of protection against Damari's father, Delvin Driver. She said he, on three separate occasions, tried to choke her. If this was true, she didn't prove it. She was denied. In 2017, she gave birth to another child who was taken into custody. Also in 2017, the court ordered all seven children be taken back to Janie's home. McCaffrey didn't have any more contact with the family until an allegation of abuse and neglect came up again. In May 2021, which was investigated and determined unfounded. So what happened to Damari Perry, six years old? Damari was reported missing in North Chicago by his mother on January 5th, 2022. A body of a child was found in Lake County, Indiana which is Gary. This deceased body is said to have belonged to Damari Perry, the missing child out of Chicago. How did they know this and how did he get there? A prosecutor said at a court hearing for Jeremiah Perry, 20 years old, that is Damari's brother, that Damari had, quote, did something to upset family, unquote. In other words, or should I say my words, he did something to upset his mother. On December 29th, this is the day before Damari's birthday, which was December 30th. As a result of this, the family members would put him in a cold bath. I also read the siblings had held him there. And I believe that they had to because who is willingly going to sit in a freezing tub filled with cold water. The older brother said that he was in there for an unspecified amount of time for his punishment. Damari became violently ill. He thrown up. He passed out. No CPR. No trying to warm him up. No checking to see if the vitals were even checked but absolutely no 911 was called at all. Instead, I believe it was the mother who decided to take the boy to an abandoned home in Lake County, accompanied with her two children, the 16-year-old sister and the 20-year-old brother. And this story actually gets worse. The family, or should I say the mother, would cook up this scheme to prove that the baby was abducted. The family had told police that Damari's 16-year-old sister was going to a play date with him in Skokie, Illinois, by a man and a woman the night before. Now, all this is being told to the FBI. A 20-year-old woman that the 16-year-old vaguely knew had a 6-year-old named Tatum. The 16-year-old six, the said she had a drink. She fell asleep. She believed some somebody must have put something in her drink because when she woke up, the man and the woman, they were gone. And so was Damari. She asked Monique, where was her little brother? And she said she had no idea. She asked where the man was. She didn't know. The man's name was 
Waco or chaos, but whatever, the man was gone and so was her little brother. Monique would not let the 16 year old use her phone to call for help, but she gladly drove her home without her little brother. She even had a description right to the tat above his eye and that he had a thin build and dreadlocks. So the mom has an interview about her missing son. Now just take a listen. I only have a little snippet of it. I will put it in the description box so you can hear it in its entirety. It's just, it's crazy. And it's more crazy to think that she thought people were going to believe this. Is there any way that you can even figure out where Monique lives? Because that's what the police are going to need. Right. We know that. And we've been talking to the police. And Janae's been riding over there with the police already. Got it. So somewhere in Skokie, just an unclear of the exact address. Right. Okay. And so what has this been like? I mean, since Tuesday, this is Friday. It's been below zero outside. Yeah, that's what I say, too. It's been hard on me and my family. Like, it, it, it's just really crazy and unexplainable because it is freezing outside, and he's a little kid. He can't fend for himself. Like, I, I, I just hope wherever my child is that he is okay. I really do. So Then I've, I've had... Mm -hmm. I've had the police and people acting like I've did something wrong to my child myself. Like, as a mother, that really do hurt my feelings, but I'm focused on the bigger picture. So, Damari's mother and the rest of the interview, she would talk about how cold it was outside, and she even had driven around looking for Monique, the girl that may know the whereabouts of where Damari was. But you really have to hear it. You really do. So anyway, the whole play date theory was debunked. Authorities went straight to the spot. Damari was there. He was naked. He was wrapped in a plastic trash bag. The coroner de determined he died of hypothermia. His organs were partially frozen. He had scattered ecchymosis, a discoloration of the skin. While parts of his body was charred, so basically, they had first froze him in the cold water. Then they set him on fire. Then they froze him again, his mother, the mastermind behind this whole horrific plan, just hours before his birthday. What happened to Time Out? Go to your room, or you can't play with those fancy, expensive gadgets. I mean, do kids even play with toys anymore? But what happened to that? Why an agonizing cold bath? And to get your older children to help this vicious crime against their little brother? Jenny Perry was arrested on first-degree murder, and she said she had taken ill. So they sent her to a hospital and they said when she is medically, medically cleared, she will be taken to a bond court. I mean, she really tried that. Now her bail or her bond is set for $10 million. In another article, I read it was set for $5 million, but either way, she is not coming home. And her 20 year old son, Jeremiah R. Perry, he was of course arrested too. His bail was set for $3 million. I read he's trying to get it lower to $20,000. And I think he had a past gun possession and no ID. And he, I believe he was on probation, but don't quote me on that one. Cause I only seen that in one article that he was on probation but he's trying to get his bond lowered so maybe he can get out maybe he has two thousand dollars so he can get on out of get on out of jail now the 16 year old sister they're referring to her as the unnamed juvenile nothing is being said about her as of just yet so who knew where damari was they're saying that Several Lake County children at the Children's Advocacy Center led them to Damari's body. It seems these children saw the whole 
entire thing caught. Damari His father has a GoFundMe account to help him bury his son. Damari's father described his child as having a huge personality. He said, quote, He was just the life of me, man. It's like you walk in the room and everybody loved him. I only wish I had more time to spend with my baby. I wish that I had more. Basically, I wish he was still here. Unquote. This was a horrible, horrible story. I'm going to follow it out. Justice for Damari. Rest in peace, baby.